so hungry. <laughs> Long down. Long queue. nutrients right Everyone, this is Leon here at my garden again and uh, you know we're actually two days away from the circuit breaker and we have to stay at home due to the COVID and all this issue. So uh, I was thinking why don't we do another video because during this one month when you're staying at home there's some a lot of things you can do. We all know that you can grow your own food at home, your own vegetables, your own fruits and everything. Uh, but another thing you can do is actually baking and cooking. So today we're going to do something very interesting and that is actually uh, how to make a passion fruit uh, Oreo cheesecake. Uh, that should be correct. So anyway, here I have some passion fruit here. It can actually easily be grown at home. Uh, you can grow passion fruit and you can harvest it. You can eat it as a fruit itself. But uh, you can also make it into a cheesecake apparently. Okay, but uh, without further ado, let's go and learn how to make passion fruit. Uh, passion fruit Oreo cheesecake. So here I am together with my good friend Amos. He's actually from Happy Oven. It's a, it's a neighborhood bakery located at Bio Crescent there, uh, Tiong Baru, that side. And they actually specialize in uh, traditional uh, cakes, pastries, bread also, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, so if you want, you can go and check them out at Bio Crescent if you're in the area. Huh? So today he's going to teach us, he's very generous, he's going to share with us on how to make your own Oreo, passion fruit Oreo cheesecake. Okay, so today we are doing a passion fruit Oreo cheesecake that is in a flower pot, so you'll look like a plant. Ah. Yeah, so uh, also the regular version without, I also will be introducing this. So the first step is to put the melted butter into the warm water, so to make sure the butter is melt before uh, we mix it into the Oreo cookies. So for the Oreo cookies, right, we need to take out the fillings. So let me demonstrate. So you, you twist the Oreo, <laughs> and then uh, it becomes two pieces, right? So you can use a small knife, but you don't use the sharp part, la. you use the, the back of the knife. So when you do this, you scrape up the white color fillet. So, so you don't cut yourself, use the back of the knife. Okay? Can we just lick it? You want to, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are going to crush the Oreo cookies into this plastic bag. Easier to crush. Gonna put all these Oreos, then we put it in the plastic bag. We'll use the powder to crush the Oreo. The reason why I remove the filling is because uh, if you keep the filling right, you'll be too sweet. Okay. So all these crushed Oreos are ready. I will show you how to make sure that the Oreo, sorry, the cream cheese does not come out from the holes of the flower pot. So use the same knife, then we take out the fillings as again. There are four, so it cover up the hole. Yep. Okay, so it looks like soy, then uh, what do we do next? Okay, next we put the Oreo, right, into the melted butter. Oh. So you give it a bit of uh, shininess, la, so it looks like so. So we just pour the Oreo into the melted butter. Yeah. And just use a spoon to mix it. So it's getting shinier. So now it looks more like so. La. For the regular one, we place some of this crushed Oreo cookies into it. So if you have a party and all, you can uh, do this version. But if you want to surprise someone, you can do the flower pot version. Okay, so that means Valentine's Day. Uh, guys, take note, uh, Valentine's Day, you can do this as a Valentine gift. Uh. It's uh, a lot cheaper and a lot more delicious. <laughs> <A> lot <cheaper>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the little shot glass version, so you just do the same. You just put a bit of crushed Oreo cookies, then you use the knife as the base. Do we need to add this uh, soil into the pots itself also? Uh, later, later on. This will be on the top of the flower pot. Oh, okay, just okay. Why, why does it need to have the, the layer of uh, soil here, whereas this one doesn't need until later? Okay, this one is the regular cheesecake version. 
So the soil is on the the cookie base is on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the flower top one is where the Oreo cookies are on the top. So it's opposite. Ah, I see. Okay, now we move on to the passion fruit cream cheese uh, portion. Uh, so all these ingredients, I'm pretty sure you can buy from NTUC, right? Uh, I usually buy my ingredients in uh, Poon Huat. Poon Huat. is a baking specialist. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I heard yeah, of it before. Okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, you can buy all this stuff from Poon Huat. Yeah. yeah, free advertisement for you guys. Huh? <laughs> Poon Huat, huh? uh, yeah, but of course, you know, if, uh, in terms of fruits wise, you can buy from NTUC or grow your own. Huh? Uh, first thing first, we will bloom the gelatin with water. This water better to be chilled water lah, so that it doesn't shock the gelatin. Uh, you want the gelatin to bloom nicely so that it has the strength. So okay, after you pour this in, you just put it one side, let it bloom, don't touch it. So uh, second step, I will whip the topping cream up in the mixer. So we start off low, and we slowly turn it up to high. Okay, after two minutes, uh, the topping cream is ready. So how to check whether it's ready, right? You must uh, beat the cream until like it's almost uh, stiff peaks. Can you see? So it's very hard. This to give volume to the cheesecake. La. Okay, so now, now we are going to extract the passion fruit plugs uh, into the bowl so that we can extract the passion fruit. Okay, so now we want to do the cream cheese. So make sure it's uh, defrosted already, not uh, too hard. So how to check is that when you use your finger, right, you press, right, it goes in easily. This is the perfect uh, temperature to mix the cream cheese. Okay, so we put it in. So we use the blade attachments. Start from the low speed first to incorporate the cream cheese uh, well before we mix the butter and also the sugar in. So now, add the butter in. Now we start to add the sugar in. Okay. So when you add the sugar, just add gradually. So uh, as you can see, the gelatin is already nicely bloomed. Alright, so what you need to do now is to put the gelatin while uh, we are mixing the che cream cheese onto this uh, hot warm water so that it can uh, incorporate nicely. So you just uh, just keep stirring. Okay, so so when you start seeing that uh, it becomes a bit more fluffy, fluffyish, means uh, its activator is ready. So now we want to integrate all the ingredients inside the passion fruit uh, cream cheese portion. So we start off by adding the topping cream. Second ingredient, we are going to put the milk, also slowly. Then we will add the gelatin inside, the gelatin mix. Okay, so at this moment, we can switch it off. Okay, so now we fold the mixture. Fold is another way of mixing uh, different ingredients together. Okay, so now for the next step, we are going to add the passion fruit plugs inside the cream cheese. So, 6 tablespoons. So, take more of the juice. Uh. So one. Okay, so for the flower, flower pots, make sure when you pour it in, right, um, the Oreo cookies are covering the holes in the flower pot. So just pour gently. See the flower pot, the line over here. So just fill up until the line here. This will be a bit more challenging. So clean the sides using the serviette. So 
now we are going to put this uh, flower pot plant into the fridge for about half an hour to one hour. Uh, once it's stabilized, you can do the second layer. Okay, so now we are back. Uh, it's been about half, uh, half hour, 45 minutes like that since we left this in the fridge and now it is kind of hardened. Firm up, yeah. Firm up, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what do we do next? Okay, so now we are doing the passion fruit topping. First step is to use the cold water to bloom the gelatin again. It's the same. You see the at the same time the gelatin is almost blooming already. So what we do is that we put it in the warm water. Okay, so while this is keeping warm, put the sugar inside the passion fruit. 30 grams yeah. Mix it well okay. Then pour inside the gelatin okay. Put a bit here So remaining this pour Okay, so what's the next step? <coughs> next step, we're gonna chill this for half an hour. Then after that, we complete the last step to make it look like a plant. Okay, hopefully it's not pitch black by then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're back here. Uh, right now, we're actually in a very different environment because, uh, well, the sun has set, it's pitch black outside, so we have to improvise and move it inside this little greenhouse. So you can see the moon is shining brightly upstairs. So, uh, the jelly the jelly has already um, hardened, so yes. we have it over here ready. Um, yeah, you want to say something about it? Okay, so now we are going to add the soil into the flower pot over here. This is Oreo, I remember. Yeah, this is the Oreo soil. And this one is the passion fruit cheesecake. And then for the regular version, it's already ready. So it's completed already? It's completed already. So before you add the soil, you loosen the soil first. The Oreo soil. Now we add the back. Butter already, so just pour it in like this. When you add the Oreo inside the flower pot, right, try not to put it too evenly. So you know it looks a bit more authentic, like. Mm. So understand that the, this is just for decoration, right? Yeah, for decoration. Yeah, so you can put any of your herbs or flowers around there. So uh, I got a few from my garden here. Yeah, this is like peppermint. I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. Uh, this is blue key. I think some of you have a home. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, they're a bit closed up now because I couldn't find the right one. Uh, yeah, blue keys. So uh, this this is tarragon. It's actually a quite a popular Western herb. And we have mulberries. Yeah. So all these are different like herbs or, or flowers that you can grow in Singapore. Uh, quite easy to grow them. Uh, even to learn how to grow them, you can always you know go and download our ebook and everything. Now this one is stevia. Some of you might have heard of it. It's um, quite popular now because of Coca Cola stevia coke. It's actually a herb. So I understand this is for decoration, but yeah. if they can eat the decoration, that would be good. So can we use stevia for this? Yeah, yeah. Any, yeah okay. So any kind of plants that you like, as long as it's not poisonous, like you can just, <laughs> just put on it. Okay. What do you call this again? Tarragon. Tarragon. Yeah. Then we'll just put it. Straighten this so it looks like a wow. Pot. This looks nice. Yeah. Okay. We can just uh, eat it at the spot. Yeah, right you now. can okay. eat it like that. Yeah. All right. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, sharing with us how to make these uh, beautiful looking uh, passion fruit Oreo cheesecake. I'm sure we're gonna enjoy it. So thank you so much, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you like, do share, you know, and subscribe to our channel. And um, we hope to see you again. All right. So goodbye, everyone. Okay. Bye.